Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be continuing going through the different watch faces of the Garmin Instinct crossover. These are the delivered watch faces from Garmin and we're going to be looking at the third one from the top in today's video. This one is the one that has the most data fields out of all of them. You've got five different data fields you can pick from. What we're going to do now is I'm going to go in and I'm going to customize it and I'm going to show them to you. This one's kind of interesting. It's got these lines in the background. I guess it kind of looks like a map terrain. I'm not real sure what that was supposed to be. Uh, but nonetheless, it's kind of cool as far as the design and lots of data options. We're going to press and hold the middle button on the left-hand side. That'll take us to watch face. I'm already on the watch face. Again, this one's the third from the top. You can see this line over here and then that little indicator of what uh, watch face I am on. I'm going to go ahead and press GPS and then I'm going to customize it. As with the other watch faces on this watch, there's no option to change the color. So you're always going to have the black background with the light font. You'll see my first data field here. I'm just going to cycle through real quick and show you all of your options as far as the data field values you can choose. I should have remembered where I started, but there we go. That's all of them. Press GPS to go to the next data field. This one's on UTC right now. We'll go through all of these. They're pretty much going to be the same options for you. Press the GPS button, go to the next data field. Again, it's the same thing. If you're like me, the one thing that's missing here is there is no moon phase. I don't know why they took the moon phase off of the data field options on the crossover watch. That was the best part of the Instinct series. I thought it was the best watch as far as viewing the moon phase. Now we're on our fourth data field. And then last but not least, you've got the bottom data field, which is your fifth one. I will say this, it's great to have a watch face that has five data fields. Anyway, that's a quick look at the third watch face from the top on your Garmin Instinct crossover. Hope the video helps.